Hey YouTubers, this your boy Amari Points here bringing you the latest movie review. Today I'm doing my newest movie review on the latest Disney Pixar movie, Lightyear. The movie that inspired Andy to get a Buzz Lightyear toy. And basically this is like a Toy Story prequel that tells the story of Buzz Lightyear who, who basically strands his whole team and, and crew on a deserted planet also let me tell you something this movie this movie was legit perfect to see in the in the movie theaters I can say this Chris Evans as Buzz Lightyear is phenomenal it is definitely a good origin story and we can finally see why why Andy was inspired to get a Buzz Lightyear toy when he was a kid. But all in all, still a phenomenal movie. Hang on guys, I apologize. Oops, sorry. Sorry about that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But all in all, still a phenomenal movie to check out. And this is the first... I repeat, the first Pixar movie that we got in theaters since the pandemic happened. And this this is, wow, again, a good Pixar movie to bring back in theaters. I am glad that it's, that it's stood, that it stayed in theaters because everyone deserves to see a Pixar movie in theaters now. Because we definitely needed it. We really did. But... And I can say that it's just great seeing Buzz Lightyear team up with a great crew in this movie. Play Izzy, Izzy, and the rest of the cast. And Taika Waititi, as most of you know, is in here. That guy's been in everything lately. So, yeah, kudos to Taika for being in this. And he's also going to be coming back as Korg in Thor Love and Thunder. So, can't wait to see him in action again but let's move, move to uh the positives and the negatives first off as always are the positives we get to see buzz lightyear's origin story in this movie and it is a good s story to tell and now we see why andy was inspired to get a buzz lightyear action figure because of this because of the Lightyear movie right here inspired him to get a Buzz Lightyear action figure. It was very inspiring. This movie legit was an epic movie. And it also had some emotional scenes. Because, again, this is Pixar. Pixar is definitely going to pull on some heartstrings, guys. So be ready to cry when you watch this movie. Also, also the cast... The cast themselves. Chris Evans, we know him and love him as Captain America in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Wow. Wow. It was nice seeing him. It was nice seeing him be be in this movie and him playing Buzz Lightyear. And also, yes, I am repping a Captain America shirt, if people haven't noticed. Yes, I am... Yes, I'm repping the Captain America shirt. I really am. Chris Evans, I'm not sure if you'll watch this, but awesome job playing Buzz Lightyear. We know, we always know Tom Hanks to play, I mean, Tim Allen, sorry. I mean, Tim Allen to play Buzz uh, Lightyear. But now we're seeing Chris Evans take on the role and seeing him play this phenomenal Toy Story iconic character that we all know and love from the Toy Story movies and also Kiki Palmer as Izzy she is phenomenal too she is the granddaughter of Buzz's best friend Alicia Hawthorne and wow she fits this role well we all we get to see why we get to see why she became a space ranger and Izzy is just she is a great actor character to the, this movie. I'm sorry, yes, I cannot talk. I apologize for that. And he, and again, Kiki Palmer, Kiki Palmer is a perfect character. I mean, is a perfect actress to play this great character. I love, 
I loved her in her past movies and everything. Yes. Yes, she is perfect for this role. And Taika Waititi as one of the cadets that uh, Buzz Lightyear that Buzz Lightyear leads. He is he is great. He is a phenomenal person. Again. Again, we're going to be seeing him come back again as Korg in Thor Love and Thunder. We've seen him like in Avengers Endgame, uh, Thor Ragnarok, everything, and every other project before that, before and after that. Taika can do no wrong. This guy honestly deserves an Oscar. He, he is definitely the person to get an Oscar. Taika, if you watch this too, awesome job, buddy. I am looking. I'm looking forward to seeing where you'll pop up after after this movie and Thor Love and Thunder. I'm looking forward to seeing what you will do next. And I can't wait to see what the future holds for you. And again, and again, another good another positive thing about this movie is well the emotional and awesome scenes that we see in this movie. Again, this is a Pixar movie. You you guys gotta be ready to cry. I can't tell you which scene you'll cry on because when you see the movie, you will know what I mean and everything. I I honestly there was I honestly cried on this one scene that I can't tell you which scene it is because I want you I want you to I'll see the scene. I want you to see the scene and you'll see why I said you'll cry on it. And also, stay, st guys, another good good thing about this movie is that there are three post credit scenes. Stay after the movie for the three post credit scenes because when you see these post these three post credit scenes, it'll, I think it's going to be leading up to the sequel if we do get one. I, I'm hoping we do. Who knows? We might. We might get a sequel to. We might get a sequel to Lightyear. Who knows? It'll be interesting if we do. And also, another positive is James Brolin. You guessed it. He is the father to Josh Brolin, who played Thanos in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And let me tell you, him playing Zerg, it's phenomenal. But there is more to Zerg than you guys realize. I'm not going to spoil it for you. But trust me, you will be shocked you will be shocked when you see who Zerg is. You are going to be shocked. You really, really are. I can't really say much, but trust me, you will be shocked when you see who Zerg is. And that's it for the positives. On to the negatives, guys. I think the one negative I had was Aisha Hawthorne um, not being in this movie so much. Because I think she... I think they should have, like, uh, added her in a few more scenes. She was just not really in there that much. It could have been better if she really was in this movie a whole lot more. That was the only negative I had. And that's it for my positives and negatives. On to my rant. What I loved most about Lightyear is that we get... It's definitely kind of like a prequel. It's kind of like a prequel to this movie and what else I can tell you is Socks the cat is Socks the cat he is phenomenal he's a scene stealer in everything in every scene he does I was laughing so hard when he honestly did some funny stuff in this movie as well and again I love that cat and if we do get a sequel I hope we, he does come back in the sequel but all in all still a phenomenal Pixar movie a good movie a good movie to watch in theaters because Pixar had to release most of their movies on Disney Plus and this is a great way to bring Pixar back to theaters we definitely needed this movie in theaters not on Disney Plus that's what that's how I see it and again when you watch this movie you are gonna be ready to see a lot of epic scenes in this movie and see why Andy was inspired to get a Buzz Lightyear action figure. I see what now I see why he wanted one. And Chris Evans is a good addition to the Pixar family. And I can't wait to see him come back in a possible Lightyear sequel. If we do get one, I'm crossing my fingers that we do get a sequel. And if we do, 
I am going to be so on board with it. And it, and if they bring back the same director who directed it, directed uh, this movie, Lightyear, I will be cool with it. And that's it for my rant. On to the rating. Oops. I give Lightyear a solid. Sorry. A. A plus. I hope you guys can see it. Uh, because I did enjoy this movie. I did enjoy this movie so much. It's a perfect Toy Story prequel to the famous Buzz Lightyear that we see in the Toy Story movies. And I can't wait to see what the future holds for the rest of this cast. And hopefully they do come back for the sequel. And honestly, I think Chris Evans is a good addition, like I said, to the Pixar family. I, w I can't wait to see him come back in a possible Lightyear sequel along with the rest of the same cast that was in this movie. All I can say is that wow be ready to blow your mind I mean be ready to have your mind blown when you see this iconic Pixar movie and again I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna stress this enough stay after for the three post credit scenes there are three yes you are going to be shocked at all these three iconic post-credit scenes. Trust me. You will. And that's it for my movie review, guys. Don't forget to like, comment down below on what you guys thought of Lightyear. Subscribe and share with everyone you know. I will see you guys soon. Take care and God bless. Peace.